Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. I've got some really exciting news for anybody looking to buy a Tesla or another EV in the future about battery technology. Whoa, what? EVs use batteries? I thought you went to the local Shell station to fill up. Obviously the battery, one of the higher cost parts of any Tesla vehicle or any electric vehicle on the road today because the price per kilowatt hour, and if you have a 75 kilowatt hour battery, it's thousands upon thousands of dollars. I think Tesla's probably making them for a little bit cheaper, but the point is, that's still a lot of money. That's a really big cost right there that Tesla obviously wants to improve upon. So when you own a business, how can you cut costs? Well, you can either change the way you use a product, so eliminate its use, or you can switch suppliers, or you could make it yourself. Tesla has all but confirmed recently that they are working to make their own batteries. What? Shocker. They're trying to control the cost and make things cheaper and lower the price per kilowatt because they'll be making them and not relying on somebody else. This is just the most wild idea ever. Obviously, I don't want to act like I'm the first one to crack the code here because that's pretty obvious. Every manufacturer, whether it's Apple with their own A-series chips in the phones, they want to control how they're engineered and developed. Tesla wants to do the same thing with every part of their vehicles, and the battery is the big one. It's the big kahuna here. And according to a new report from Electric, there is some big news on the horizon. Tesla acquired Maxwell recently. They've been experimenting with new battery technology, and Elon on a podcast recently even alluded to the fact that most people don't realize the gravity of what they've been working on for battery technology, and what Maxwell's acquisition means. Most normal people don't get it. That is straight from Mr. Elon Musk himself. I know I certainly don't understand, but as somebody who owns a Tesla, and full disclosure, I am an investor as of right now, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do now. Also, this is not like financial advice at all. Please don't buy or sell Tesla stock because of this video. I'm just putting this information out here because I find it really interesting. Tesla's newest secret escapade is called Project Roadrunner. And while it might sound like a successor to the Roadster or a new car or a new semi-truck or a new Cybertruck, it's actually none of that, but rather the underpinnings to what's gonna make their entire business model continue to work and continue to be profitable. Looking at a Bloomberg report, the average cost per kilowatt hour as of the 2019 estimate is about $156 per kilowatt hour. That means if you're making a Tesla battery, and you do the math, 75 kilowatt hours would cost you over 11,000 bucks. I think Tesla's definitely making it for cheaper, but based on this estimate, that's what it would be. If you're making a bigger 100 kilowatt hour battery, I mean, the price is just going up and going up. It's still really expensive to make battery packs, not nearly as expensive as the $1,000 plus premium on a kilowatt hour back in the early 2010s, but still expensive nonetheless. Recently, Tesla has set up some new secret production lines in Fremont, and they've been setting things up all over the place with some breakthroughs made by a team in Canada and also with the Maxwell dry battery electrode acquisition. They got Maxwell for the technology. They've been working on new battery stuff, and uh, what they've been able to achieve is reportedly quite impressive, and that's why I believe they've been pushing back the battery investor day a little bit each at a time like it's always like oh it's coming soon and then maybe a few months down the road it's because tesla is on the brink of something that is pretty big we don't have the gritty details of the project just yet but the new battery packs are going to be two very big things that they are not right now they're going to be more energy dense meaning that tesla will not have to use as many modules per vehicle and two they're going to be cheaper so these are two massive upgrades i mean they're fundamental issues that battery packs have been struggling with for years, essentially since their inception. How do you put as much energy as possible in a very small space with it not weighing as much? And also, how do you put all this energy in there for cheap? How do you not break the bank? How do you remain profitable? And through this Project Roadrunner, Tesla has been able to do this at a rate that could lead to rates uh, as low as $100 per kilowatt hour, which is ridiculously low and the big part of that is that that's apparently when you reach parity with gas cars. Depending on who you talk to, an electric car or a gas car is cheaper. I think you can make a compelling argument either way, but most people would agree that it's still cheaper overall to own a gas car. But when you're able to make these battery packs cheaper, you could also, if Tesla chooses to, or any other EV maker out there, lower the cost of your vehicle, the total overhead, so that you could buy an electric car that goes 250 miles for $30,000 or $25,000. And Tesla has this concept, you've probably seen it. It's like a two-door Model 3, it looks really slick. They had this on a Chinese job posting from a couple weeks back. This is not confirmation that they're doing anything, but I think logically, cheaper battery packs, more energy dense, 
Tesla wants to hit all segments of the market. So I think that this is probably going to happen at some point, whether or not it happens soon, that's another question. I think we're probably five years away from a cheaper Tesla than what we've got now because the demand is still so high. With these acquisitions and advancements in battery technology, possibly you know something with solid state, Updated lithium ion technology is on the way. And if you're looking to buy a Tesla, things are just going to get better. They're gonna get cheaper, they're gonna get more efficient, they're gonna get more energy dense, probably with even less cells inside because of the advancements. Maybe we'll see some weight improvements on these Teslas. So when is this gonna be coming to market? Well, as of right now, Tesla's Battery Investor Day is set to take place in April of this year. So just around two months away, maybe a month and a half if you're being optimistic. It's likely that at this event, Tesla will announce the improvements there. Not only that they're making their own batteries, but that they are more energy dense they are cheaper to produce, and that they can do this at scale, which Elon has said in the past is the hardest part about making electric cars. It's super easy to make one or two or three, but turning out thousands and thousands each week is incredibly challenging. That was the biggest test for Tesla so far. So let me know what you think about this. Are you looking forward to the new battery technology? Will you be buying a new car with the upgraded lithium ion technology in it? And can you wait to see what Tesla's working on? Let me know down below. I've been Sam, drop a like if you enjoyed it, hit subscribe for more, and I'll catch all of you in the next video.